So Gaffer, final game of pre-season, they're winning against a very decent League Two side. Must be happy with how today went. Good performance. I thought we defended really well when we had to. I thought we were good in possession. Still a couple of teething problems. Um, but all in all, I'm happy with the whole of the pre-season, not just the performance today. Um, this is the end of our week five, and so we do a six-week pre-season, which, which ends obviously next Friday when we travel to Halifax. But I think the players' attitude and an application towards um, what I expected them, especially in the first three weeks, I make a hell for them, I've got to be honest with you. But we want to be the fittest side in the division, and the fitter you are, the easier this business is. Um, but all in all, their attitude and, and their togetherness and application has been outstanding. So, yeah, I guess you sort of answered the second question. I was just sort of going to ask you how you've you sort of found the pre-season. Obviously, coming off the back of the end of last season, obviously didn't quite end how you wanted, but this pre-season you must be very happy. Yeah, delighted. I'm a big believer in learning from yesterday. That's what I'm about. And uh, I think you know, we just got to take it one game at a time, one session at a time. I don't look too far ahead. And uh, we understand obviously the expectations of us this year, but we've created them expectations. You know, when I come to this football club three or four years ago, it was bottom of the table. So we've done that through hard work, through togetherness, through honesty, and uh, that won't change. Um, and then players have shown that. So I believe in the whole group. Some of them are going to be frustrated because we've got a larger group this year that they're not going to play um, as much as they want. But we need to share the load because we had a tough time, sort of, sort of the back end of autumn. We had a really tough time where we didn't pick up enough points. So we've got to make sure that, that doesn't happen again. Yeah, and obviously, like I said, you know, good opposition today in Wimbledon. What's the plan to so, you know, sort of treat today as a, as a run up to next week? Yeah, that's how we did. Yeah, that's what they're the kind of subs we make. That's what we kind of do. Uh, that's who's available to us. So yeah, um, whether we decide to go with that, we're expecting Reese Hall Johnson, Nick Tavares back training Monday. Uh, Jordan Cropper should be back training Monday. So I've got a couple of selection dilemmas with headaches, but they're good problems to have. They're the ones I want to be having. So, but um, yeah, that's how we treated it today. We only made two subs. Um, so yeah, all in all, yeah, that's, that's 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 the mentality of us. We've got to create that winning mentality. Obviously, very dangerous going forward at times in the game today. But you know, most importantly as well, a clean sheet. We, you know, you must be very, very, very happy with how well we defended. Yeah, clean sheets win titles for me. That's what, that's one of my mottos. Um, defended really well. And what was really pleasing was there wasn't too many efforts on the goal in the first half. I know they missed a good chance. Um, but it, it, the, the ball went wide from a sort of a square ball. And it was just, a bit of a shank diag, but <clears throat> second half Nick had to make two or three saves late in the game, so his concentration was really good. And that's why we brought him to the football club because uh, he's an outstanding goalkeeper. Um, he's got all the tools to be a top top goalkeeper, and uh, he's got a bright future ahead of him. But I thought today his concentration was outstanding. But I thought as well as that, our defensive concentration was excellent as well. Obviously, Danny was only planned to play 45 minutes. Joe Kizzy then come in, he has been injured, and he got his 45 minutes. So it's been really good, really pleasing. There's a lot of competition for places which we want. Yeah, and finally, back to league action again next Saturday with Halifax, the opposition. You know, so how are you feeling heading into the new campaign? Yeah, look, Chris's teams are well organised, well drilled. They're another team that got in the playoffs last year. Um, they're, a, they're a football team that's always been in the playoffs with the National League. So, um, super organised, we had to break down. Um, they'll have their own threats, he likes pace in wide areas. And sort of these 10 positions where they like to drift wide. We've had them watch today, we had them watch a scun talk, we had them watched as well um, Tuesday night. So, look, I know he's probably going to sign a few players. It looks like the, the squad's a little bit thin at the minute, so he's probably looking to sign some players. But we just we just can't wait to get going. All that hard work and pre season starts this week. This is what it's all about. We've got to pay the mortgage, we've got to pay the bills, and this is mortgage football at this level. So, we're itching to get going. Thanks, Ethan. Cheers.